Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. Last year I reviewed this Cool Pi standalone SSD disk duplicator and it was okay, it was pretty cool. But uh, it's no longer available and they sent over their replacement, the version 2.0 if you will. And uh, yeah, I mean, everything's in the box that you need, USB-C to USB-A, USB, USB-C. And this is a nice hefty box, it's all metal. It's got all these kind of cool looking design, uh, air vents if you will, some nice LEDs on here. It's, it's nice, USB-C to plug it into a PC, a real physical power button, and that makes a lot of difference if you're gonna use this long-term. And the construction's great, and we're gonna talk more about the construction in a minute. I just want you to see what the inside looks like. And yeah, it's, uh, it's very nice. You have room for two, pretty much any size SSDs that you wanna put in there. And uh, yeah, it looks great. And again, I like the heft. I like the fact that you can put any size in here. I I like it. I like it a lot, providing that, you know, it performs. We're going to talk a little bit more about this toolless design in a minute because I think it's worth having its own segment about it. But yeah, this is um this is nice and durable. See, this is the sort of thing I wouldn't use the other one like all the time, but for something like this, I might actually hook this up to my computer and use it as an extra set of drives. Here's our uh, manual for those who maybe bought one of these and didn't get a manual. I'll just pause there so you can take a look at it. There's really uh, there's really nothing special here. So there you go. Yeah, so here they are compared side by side. This one's nice, self-contained, it's protected. This one, the drive's just stuck out of the top. It was great for a clone, but not something I would use for a day-to-day -day card reader or a drive reader. So. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely tell that they've done some upgrades here and it's paid off. This construction's great, it's all toolless. There's no screws anywhere. They use these little four ball bearings on the corners of the case. It's got a finned approach on the inside, of course, the, uh, the pads on the bottom. But the way this thing works is when you click it in, the ball bearings give way enough to get the uh, bottom on. So it just snaps in and it's nice and tight, it, it's not gonna fall apart, and it's all toolless, no star screws, no tri-wing screws, no nonsense like some of these other drive enclosures. We have A and B, a cooling area, which we're gonna talk more about. Here is the regular 256 gig drive that I pulled out of my original LCD Steam Deck, right? This is one of the 2280s, I believe, and then I got this giant one terabyte, don't worry, I'll give you a better picture of these later, a Sabrent a rocket. So there's nothing to screw down, right? You don't you don't actually have to screw them down with anything because the case's design takes care of that for you. So once again, we have no tools, no screws, nothing. We just pop it in and close it. That's it. I, I love that. I mean, I, I'm so tired of having like a million screw drivers and adapters. Yeah, so the power button makes sure that you can do evolutions without unplugging it, like changing drives. I like that a lot. Nice bright display, right? So you can see source and destination, and of course the clone button, which we're gonna look at in just a minute. And again, compared to the old Cool Pie, uh, meh, meh. This clone button, by the way, actually works like you would expect, and I'm sorry this got off camera. If you hold the clone button down for like five seconds and release it, it starts cloning. There's no double click, triple click, uh, in, no nonsense like the last one. If you've seen the other video, you know what I'm talking about. Now the fan is pouring out. There's an active cooling fan at the top of this thing. And you can see here that it is cloning even as we speak. Clone time for 160 gigabytes was about four minutes and four seconds. And those lights at the top will flash and change as it increases its uh, progress. So that's kind of nice. You can sit across the room and see this thing. And of course, if you wanna hook it up to a PC, a laptop, or even the Steam Deck, which we're gonna do later, you can just use a standard USB-C to USB-C cable included, um, but I happen to have this nice long one here, which is what I'm gonna to use to hook up to my PC later. Yeah, so you're probably wondering how loud that active fan is, so I'm gonna give you a quick demo. Here's some audio during the cloning operation, and you can hear it's actually fairly loud. But that's putting uh, probably some pretty good cooling in here. All right, so let's do some quick speed tests here. This is the 256 gigabyte SSD from the deck and the Rocket one terabyte speed test. 
So a little bit slower on that one terabyte. Here are the drives closer so you guys can get the model numbers and whatever if you wanna go look at the specs on that. Here are the pros, it's self-contained, no PC required for cloning, it's very fast. Active cooling, power switch, excellent build and design. There's really nothing horrifying to say about this, especially if you're gonna use that standalone cloner. It's probably a little pricey for a one-off use of cloning a Steam Deck drive and nothing else, and the fan may be a little loud for regular use. But unlike last year's model, it's very likely that I could use this in a regular environment, even with the loud fan. Listen, if you like what we're doing here, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.